Hey, what's up you guys? Smart Suits 99 here and today um I did get something from Amazon today. It's a package actually. Um so I got this package here guys. Um This is here. Um I got this from Amazon here. Um I did order something which um were two games actually for Nintendo Switch. I mean for this title of the video, um because guys, you know how the Nintendo Switch is region free, right guys? And um, you can play like both Japanese or European releases, so let's unbox this thing to see if it's two games for both Europe and Japan. So, let's go! Alright guys, so um, we're gonna have to unbox from this side because I can't show you my shipping address. And yeah, so get to opening it. Oh, I almost got the game out. And Oh, hold on. First came out and oh my god, yes. So I got WarioWare Get It Together uh, for Nintendo Switch, guys. Uh, this here is the European version because it has the age rating here, uh, Peggy Seven, and it's the back here. Um, it has the word uh, violence on there, which um, this is this here, guys, is from Europe, and I got this for like thirty four ninety nine uh, from Europe. And then comes to uh, this one here. Oh my god, that's a lot of bubble wrap. Oh, oh, I think I know what it is. Right here. Take the piece of tape off or... Let's see. It's gonna be kind of hard to open this, but... Let's try. Ooh. Very difficult, guys. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, these are cool stickers I got, guys. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta get in here. What I got in this, uh, are. Oh! This pack here is. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, yes. River City Girls 1 and 2. This is a combo card. Um, this here is from Japan, as you can see, the age rating and also the Japanese writing. The whole thing in the back is in Japanese. It has depictions of violence for both the first game, second game, violence, and the gun here. Uh, all this is in Japanese. It has River City Girls 1 and 2. Yeah, this is from Japan. Oh, I also can't forget to mention, it also did come with some stickers right here, guys. Got a sticker pack, you know. Okay. Sticker, open up. Oh my god, yes. Yes. These are the stickers of art here, guys, for Versi Girls 1 and 2. This comes bundled if you get uh, a the copy here of Rusty Girls 1 and 2 from Japan. And uh, as you can see here, this is what is inside of the set, guys. What includes the set are, um, I mean, if you don't know what Rusty Girls is, guys, Rusty Girls is a side scrolling, well, side scrolling beat em up where, um, where you play as both two characters, either Misako or Kyoko. However, this is a series that is part of the Kunio Kun series, which was localized as River City outside of Japan. Yes. However, if you beat the game, the whole game, for example, you unlock both the boyfriends, uh, Misako's boyfriend Kunio and Kyoko's boyfriend Ricky. And yeah. And this sticker set is really adorable, guys. This art set. Let's see. It's really adorable, actually, guys. I have the region of Asia. I'm gonna start at the. I do it off camera, guys, because of the, because of how hard it is from the sticker, you know. Tape it is. I can really move this tape on. Wow. 
This is awesome, guys. Yeah. So as you guys see, we unboxed both uh, the package, which includes Warrior Get It Together and River City Girls 1 and 2. So um, let's unbox the games, for example. Like, Let's try Warrior Get It Together. Oh, that was easy. Now here's what the game is looks inside. Oh, this, <laughs> this war picking his nose. And then look, you got the game here. Um, where we're getting together, the cartridge. Yeah. This here I got, you remember guys? This is from Europe. And now let's try River City Girls 1 and 2. This one I got is from Japan. And now let's open it. Got it. Okay, let's see, it's already opened. Now let's see what's inside. Oh! It has the cartridge in here, which says River City Girls 1 and 2. And then comes to this guy's here. This is the art for River City Girls 1 and 2, though it's mostly River City Girls 2. I have played the first one, and I do have it on Switch, though. I only got to play it for uh, six days because of a trial. But now I get to fully play it. So... We got both River City Girls 1 and 2 and Warrior Get It Together. So... Let's put them in the Switch and to see if it is region free or not, since um, the Switch can play both European and Japanese releases. So, let's get to putting them into the Nintendo Switch. Alright guys, so we're about to put in Warrior Get It Together, the European version, in the Nintendo Switch now, so let's see if it works. I gotta put it on the screen here, but then a little bit right here. Huh? Wait, the game card could not be red. Oh, let me try again, guys. Oh, it works! Let me try updating it to see. Oh, there are no updates. So let's see if it works, guys. This is a European copy, so it was able to recognize it, thinking that this is the North American release, despite... This actually being a European copy. So let's show off a little bit of the game. Diamond City. Oh, fact to know about it, guys, is that I actually met a few of the people who played as the one of the characters in War were actually um throughout the series, like for example. Like you have Warrior Inc. Warrior here, who is voiced by Charles Marnay, known for playing as Mario, Luigi, in the games. My game is finished! The cutscenes only have voice acting in it. Yes! Huh? A poop button, guys? Yeah! Yeah, right there you guys saw, um, I met uh, Christina V, who voices 5 Volt, and also uh, Todd Habercorn, who plays Frank. Ah, uh, they turned microscopic, guys. The chibi versions of themselves. Yeah, and then... Yep. Does play pretty well. Yep. Now let's go with River City Girls 1 and 2 for a moment, guys. Let's go with that. Alright, guys. So now we're about to put in River City Girls 1 and 2. Now, now if you see, this is kind of like an interesting one. Like, River City Girls 1 and 2. Like, mm, is it supposed to have, uh, like, as a combo cartridge? Like, as both games. And, um, personally, this is what I thought of. You know, like, having two games in one cartridge. However, when I put it in the game, for example, guys... There are two games, actually. Two separate games here, guys. Look. Uh, both the first and the second one, but the cartridge is still in there. Let's try River City Girls, guys. Now, 
Now this is one game I have played actually guys. Before actually, but I was only able to play it for six days because of a new house that's online uh trial guys. Hmm. Japanese copy feels like it's taking pretty long, you know. Hmm. Is he even playing? Hmm. Oh, it is. Oh, it is your guy. I guess this game just loads a bit slower than just a digital game or a combo card. Developed by Arc System Works, guys. Well, and published here by WayForward, actually, though. WayForward developed this game, actually. This here, as you see, is the intro for River City Girls. One, two, one, two, three, four. The theme song itself, which is composed by Christina V, actually, whom I actually met her one time, actually, and, um, however, the thing is, I forgot to ask her about River City Girls, both one and two, that, you know, she did the theme song for both the first and the second game as well. But I am going to be meeting one of the people who played as one of the characters in River City Girls, being uh, Kira Buckland, voice of Kyoko in the game, though. As you guys can see here, look, it's in Japanese, actually. River City Girls here. Press plus to start. Hmm. It's only a bit longer and oh, my data's gone. It does like everything, guys, from like the first game you can play. It's one player, two player. Difficulty being normal or hard. Friendly fire being on or off. Settings. There's music, voice, um... Lame. Lame. Yeah. This game can be played either in English, French, Italian, German, Spanish. Oh, and Japanese, actually, though. Though it's still dubbed in English, actually. And let's try River City Girls, too, guys. Oh, hold on, I guess. I might need to do this off-camera, guys. Because I need to download it really quickly, guys. A new update. Hold on. Guys, uh, let's see if we can try cutting this off, guys, because of the downloading data. So um, I'll get back to this clip when the download is uh, finished. Yeah. Sorry. All right, guys. So um, it's already been uh, a few minutes of uh, Versity Girls 2 updating. So um, let's get to the first. Well, specifically the second one, actually. Let's get to it, see how it plays. Because again, it might load the same speed like from the first one. Because this is a combo cart I am talking about, guys. Oh, not nah, saying please wait, and then it's loading right there, guys. I mean, this game, oh, look at, look how slow it's loading, actually, guys, because, well, again, um, this is a combo cart, and how this was released only in Japan, however, well, despite this being dubbed in English, depending on, I mean, the Nintendo Switch is region-free, so this means you can play both Japanese or European releases, as well as Australian releases. However, the content, however, like DLC, for example, is not region-free, it's region-locked. All right, we're about to start the game, guys, so... Arc System works and the way forward. And this is the intro for Rooster Girls 2, guys. That's right, we're back again! Round 2! Yes, the intro theme song here, guys, composed by Christina V as well. So yeah, I've actually met half of the people who played as them in... Uh, the characters here in Rooster Girls 2, actually, in the sequel. I mean... For example, you have Ken right there. Ken was voiced by Todd Habercorn. I actually met Todd Habercorn one time, actually. Uh, when I was over at a con in Puyallup, Washington. Washington State Summer Con 2022. But I'm meeting him again at Unlock the Con in Auburn. 
to the two. Like, you know, it, you're right, Kyoko. It does say it there. Press A to play. So you have two ways you guys to play. You can play out there like the settings. Settings is how you can change the, you can change the subtitles to like English. To English, you can play the language of, for subtitles being English, Japanese, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Korean, and Chinese. Korean and Chinese. And then comes the voiceover, which you can play it either only in English or Japanese. Player indicator, which includes the ring, carrot, none, or both. And then comes the region, which includes, um, you can play either in like, um, in various countries, like, which includes Asia, Australia, Canada, Europe, India, Japan, Russia, the Russia East, South Africa, South America, South Korea, the United States East, West, but you can play via the best region. This game also does have online play, which is you can start or join a game out online. But you can also do locally. This is the select file, guys. You can also do create, save, and slot file one. You can play either in like, you can play either in uh, three difficulties, which are normal, tough, or nightmare. And then there's game mode, which is the story mode. Friendly fire, which can either be turned off or off. Set whether players can damage each other. Game mode, guys. So, um,. Like how the first game was, um, you play as either Misako or Kyoto when you start it, actually. However, when you beat it, actually, you play you get Kunio and Riki. However, in the second game, they're already playable, actually, as the first players. Other players throughout this game can be unlocked. Actually, there were two characters you saw in the intro that can be unlocked, being um, Marion from Double Dragon and Pruvi. Let's go with Kyoko. Yep. Alright guys, so um, that's my unboxing for um, my package I got on Amazon where I got uh, two games for Nintendo Switch. Uh, those two games being where we're getting together, specifically the European version actually. Uh, having a Peggy 7 rating, which I know in North America it's E10 for ages 10 and up. And then uh, I also got River City Girls 1 and 2 from Japan. Uh, rated Zero B. Uh, which in Japan guys, they have the computer entertainment rating organization, which they classify games via five age ratings A, B, C, D, and Z. A being suitable for all ages, while Z being 18 years and over. And um, even if they get that age rating guys, for example, like uh, Days Gone, for example, is censored in Japan. Despite the game being rated Z, being 18 years and over. However, camera screen angle has been censored actually. Especially when it comes to, you know, this game, River City Girls 1 and 2, being rated Cero B, which means 12 years and over. That's like an equivalent to E10 for ages 10 and up. Yeah, that also applied to Super Mario Odyssey as well. Super Mario Odyssey, which was, um, well, it was rated Cero B because of you know, for 12 years and older because you see Mario's nipples, you know, of the boxer shorts. Oh, and also, can't forget, the Rizzy Girls 1 and 2 out here, it also did come with this sweet pieces of art here, guys, which you had, uh, Misako, and then, uh, Kyoko, Kunio, and Ricky here. And yeah, it's really cool, guys, how I got them. And guys, so... I might be meeting, um, well, I am going to be meeting Kira Buckland uh, in a, about like uh, a week from now, guys. Uh, no, no, two weeks specifically, guys. I think, because I go see her on August 12th, 13th. So, like, I have a choice. Either I could take my copy of City Girls 1 and 2 or this to get it autographed from her. But another thing is um, I am also going to meet Todd Habercorn in November of this year. So I was thinking maybe I should take this to get signed by both. Well, Todd Habercorn does VA in this game, though. You also have Erica Lindbeck, who also voice acted in this game as well, along with Robbie Damon. But for Robbie Damon, I'm getting my copy of Spire Reignited Trilogy to get autographed. Yeah. So, about personally this. So, yeah. Also, guys, I have a question for all of you. Do any of you guys have any, like, Nintendo Switch games from, like, both Japan and Europe? Like, personally, I find these really cool, guys. And my Nintendo Switch is able to even be able to play them as well. 
they were able to play these two games because the console itself is region free when it comes to games. However, it is region locked for DLC actually. Like, like I, when I put in my copy of WarioWare Get It Together, it somehow felt like it was a North American version though, despite this being a European copy. And the Rooster Girls 1 and 2, however, when I put it in this game with this being Japanese, however, it was actually a combo card for both the first and the second game, guys. And I was even able to play the Japanese, uh, the first game was in Japanese with the English original ones included as well. Uh, the second game which was done in English and Japanese, so it included those two. So yep, anyways, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.